discussion of Volta's Five Legacy. Tara, simulan na natin. Let's go with episode 81. Samahan ninyo ako ha. The hashtag for today's episode is Search for Ned. The hashtag is all about the search of the Volta's team for Ned Armstrong as the main key to end the Buzanian invasion. What led the Volta's team during their search for Ned? Let's find out on this episode. The episode started with Zardos getting a call from Ozlak and with Ozlak admitting that he is the traitor. Ozlak added further that the Emperor will strip him of his power as he lost already. He said that he will be the one to replace Zardos on his mission. Ozlak ended the call which infuriated further Zardos. Zardos is enraged which made him slam the table with electric current from his hands. Xander noticed that Zardos' hands have been hurt and asked Draco for a first aid. Zandra asked him to stop as he is hurting himself as well. Zandra knelt in front of him and tried to encourage Zardos that he is never a loser as she promised to do her best for it not to happen. Back to Ozlak's ship, he is accompanied by Xander and Xander pitied on Zardos' loss. Xander shared that perhaps Zardos is having a hard time thinking on how to get back from his loss. Ozlak said that there is nothing more than Zardos can do. Xander told him to cooperate with him to eradicate Zardos from the history books of Buzan and their names will be replaced as the new prince of Buzan. Ozlak agreed on this. Night time at the Camp Big Falcon, Edwards asked the cadets to vacate their stations as the investigation is still ongoing regarding the assassination attempt on Jamie. Ava heard this and immediately went outside. Ava went to a forest and dug the gun she used to shoot Jamie. Hook noticed Ava going out of the Camp Big Falcon and followed her. Hook carefully went near where Ava was until Ava went away. Hook dug on the same place where Ava was and found a gun. Hook had finally put the pieces together of Ava being the person responsible for endangering Jamie's life. Back at the Bozan underground headquarters, Draco already prepared the war room and Zardos told them to leave. Leave the underground castle as their services are over. Zandra declined and told him that they will never leave him as they have undying loyalty. Draco have the same sentiments as Zandra and they are all ready to follow his orders even in death. Zandra told everyone that they should fight an till the end and Zardos should not give up. Zardos expressed his gratitude on them and to his people and told them that he will prove to Ozlak and everyone that he is rightfully placed in the current position. Zardos seated and was glad of his loyal subordinates. <laughs> Next day at the Camp Big Falcon, the Voldus team went out. Everyone tried to look around until Little John saw a Bozanian saucer around. A Bozanian saucer went into a cave. The Voltus team formed the Voltus robot and followed the saucer. It was a dark and a long entrance inside the cave. Steve finally have seen the castle of Zardo. Steve informed everyone that they are doing this to flee Earth from the terror of Bozanians. Big Bird added that they are fighting for the same thing being fought by their father. Fighting for the Bozanian slaves against the tyranny of the oppressive Bozanians. Everyone agreed and engaged. Draco and Zandra saw Voltus Five discovering their underground base and Zardas was informed. Zardas informed to prepare their troops for the attack. The empty grounds of the underground castle put out a massive structure for defense with lots of cannons and other armaments. And Voltus Five prepared itself. The Buzanian cannons fired at Voltus Five and the Voltus robot was almost hit. Good thing the robot is agile. Zardas moved closer to where Zandra and Draco is and told them that he built a defensive mechanism that even Ozlak doesn't know of. Voltus 5 attacked the cannons with knuckle rockets. Zardos was happy with what's happening and the generals got surprised. Zardos said to just come down as it's part of his plan to win against Voltus 5 at an, un at an unexpected time. Going back to Xander and Ozlak's whereabouts, they are in the hidden lair of the late General Zul. Ozlak told Xander that this secret base will be greatly used in the future. Guards went in and informed of the arrival of their captives. Rothgar is together with Garth, Ogden, Magus, and Judala. Xander wanted Rothgar to join them and win against Voltus 5 as they know already the secrets of Rothgar. Rothgar told them that even if he dies, there is no way he would be able to help them. Xander summoned his dagger and placed it on Rothgar's neck as a threat. It was an effective attack from Voltus 5 and Mark told Steve to finish it off with laser sword. As Steve commanded that the Voltus 5 would get his laser sword, one big weapon fired electric pins on Voltus 5. Voltus 5 was caught off guard and was pinned on the wall. One by one, on all parts of his body, electric staples made Voltus 5 
immobile. This was all seen by Zandra and Draco and they are amazed on what Zardas did. The episode ended with Volta's 5 in struggle. This is the summary of episode 81, part 1 of our discussion video. If you like this video, please do smash the like button, subscribe and hit the bell button for you to get notified of my new videos. Please head on to part 2 for the interesting points of this episode. See you there!